So we got to shorten this so that way I could have more content for you guys this week. Um, I wanted to explain why I haven't been uploading not only this month, but as well as why I completely ghosted social media since November. First, we'll start in November. So November three through December or November, my Nana went through chemo and I'm going to have this the first thing that way, that way my Nana knows how lucky I am to still have her because she watches my content and I'm very thankful for her. Um, November, Nana started the chemo. She ended up winning the battle between, uh, with cancel, uh, the cancer and like, then I just was too emotionally numb to do anything. Um, because I was just worried that I might be losing one of the most supportive people in my life. Um, because she saw, like, after she saw the sponsorship I have with Ray's, she's trying to make me a bigger influencer, um, than what I am currently. Like, she saw that I'm struggling to be an influencer and is like, you know what? Start by not saying this word in your video, because if you're going to be an influencer, other companies look at this. They see that you're doing this and they feel like you're not fit for it. Um, so I'm taking everything she's teaching me to heart only for the fact of like, that's my Nana. And she, like I said, has put so much support in not only me personally, but this channel as well. Cause she is one of my 60 subscribers and I love her so much. Um, and I couldn't bring myself to talk about any of this and now I'm able to, but my Nana in November was bad or last end of last year. November, she went through the chemo. So it was before November when they found the tumor, uh, has been battling breast cancer. And this is why I'm big on not as much the Susan G. Komen, but why I'm big on, um, cancer associations, not really Relay for Life because they put about 90% to the actual organization than they do the research. Um, that's why we had these big flag events and all that. Uh, why we did the march every July 10th was because, or June 10th, was because that's how much they raised to do that. that. That didn't come out of anyone's pocket. That came out of Relay for Life, which for those who work under Relay for Life, I'm not bad mouthing you guys. Um, I just feel like you guys need to put more to the research than just 10%. Because 90% went to the organization. Um, which is why I'm big on the extra life stuff and update on that. Any sell I make on any Divergent merch or personal merch, that's jewelry, that's candles, that's essential oils, that's anything I sell, will actually be going to extra life from now until July 10th. And I'm doing that because I am genuine about the cancer stuff. Because my Nana battled it, I lost my grandma to it in 2000. Tammy says six, but mom says five. I don't know. <laughs> One of the years, but it was really when I was extremely young. And I remember being five, so it might be early 2006 before my birthday. Late 2005. I don't know. Um, but it completely devastated me. To the point where, like, I wanted to bring an impact to them. And when Extra Life reached out to me, like I'm no longer, I no longer have a team under them because we've not been able to hit the donation increment, um, sadly, which I'll make another channel or another uh, uh, team here soon <clears throat> and another account because they deleted my account too. Um, when everything settles down and that's going to be an update whenever it comes out. I have so many big moves that you guys aren't ready for, but I wanted to explain my views on cancer associations and wanted to give a shout out to my Nana um, because she has given support even at the time she was battling she still was there for me like I barely talk to her except every once in a while and I need to talk to her more because like your biggest supporters aren't always going to be there and this is probably going to make you guys cry as well as me as well as my Nana but your biggest supporters aren't always going to be there. They'll be there to support you. I'm not saying they're going to leave you, but your biggest genuine supporters, like for instance, my Nana could, 
and I don't want this to happen, but she could be gone tomorrow. We all could be gone tomorrow. Um, none of us want to lose people, but in moments of what happened last year, I about lost my Nana, and I don't want to, because she is one of my biggest supporters, and she is trying to make me a bigger influencer than I am. And I'm just gonna shout her out for a second. And none of these videos of me reviewing or me trying to bring you guys smiles would not have come back if she wasn't in my life trying to push me to continue doing my goals. And I'm trying to fight through everything that I have that has been going on since November. Like I got out of a breakup. I have been living with someone that I'm not going to explain details right now. Um, I have been through people leaving my life and she has been pushing me to proceed. So has my girlfriend. Like my Nana has been pushing me to continue doing the best I can for you guys and I'm gonna leave this here I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did remember like and subscribe and as always this is Foxy in a Boxy signing off